Hi everyone, welcome to my Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to make this grunge scotch tape effect for your photos. Now, first things first is you want to find uh, a picture of some tape on like either a white piece of paper or a black piece of paper. Now, you can um, take it with your own camera. Um, so what you do is you just get some tape, scrunch it up a bit and put it on some black paper and take a picture of it. Now, if you uh, find one on the internet like I have, um, just go to here, uh, I found this on Google somewhere, and uh, basically this is on a white um, background, so, I mean, it's not the ideal sort of thing, but if you can't find anything that has like a black background, um, don't worry about it. So say if I want I want one of these pieces, so we're going to go to the rectangular marquee tool, like so. I am going to go and select uh, the bit of tape I want. And we're going to go press Ctrl and I to invert the colour. Now it's totally black, um, which is okay. And then we're going to go to the select tool, like so. And we're going to just move it to our image that we want like so. Now it's a bit big. I'm just going to turn off these other two so you can see what I've done like so. Now it's a bit big so we're going to hold down the con T, no sorry, the control and T for free transform. We're just going to resize it like so and turn it around like that. Now I know what you're thinking, it's uh, black at the moment and it's not going to fit in. So First things first is we're going to press the tick icon to hold it into place. Then we're going to change the layer style. We're going to change it to screen. Now, as you see, it's blended in perfectly and it actually looks really good. But if you zoom in, oh, sorry, I've still got the layer style selected. Now, if we zoom in like that. Now the tape is over the image which if it was uh, originally over the image it, it, the image would be a lot brighter underneath. So what we're going to go and do is select the poly, sorry, polygonal uh, lasso tool like so and just select the image that the tape is covering like that and you're going to hold down the control and L key to bring up the levels and we're just going to bring the white arrow just down a bit like so not too far so it's totally white just a bit so it's a lot brighter and then click OK and then press control and D to deselect like that and zoom out a bit now you can um, copy that layer by just dragging and dropping on the new layer icon and selecting the move tool and then just moving it over here or whatever but I mean um, it's I, I find it's a lot better if you get two different kinds of tape like these two here um, because then it won't look the same like you have just copied and pasted it um, which should give it a lot more effect so exactly what I've just done here so playing around with the sort of effect, as I said, it is a lot better effect if you um, get a black piece of paper and you scrunch some tape up and you put it on the paper and you just take a picture of it. You get a lot better effect if you did that. So, but if you don't, just try the way I did and it's a lot easier. So please play around and uh, see you next in the next video. Bye for now.